Hi guys, today's video is a how to video on how to install the 2017 Link Q Fuel Caddy. Alright, so the tools that you'll be needed for today is a 5 8 wrench and then you have your T30 Torx. So you have your existing Link Q brackets, you're gonna have to remove them. They've made brackets for the new uh, Fuel Caddy. So the the new brackets, you want this flush to the um, tunnel on your sled. So we'll remove the existing Link Q first. All right, so we'll remove the Link Q brackets. You're gonna wanna reinstall your new shims, they're called, BRP shims. So now you're going to want to grab your nuts and bolts that came with the shims. You're going to want to do it in the right order. So you're going to put the nut inside facing downwards. Make sure they align in the holes. Two of them. And then you're going to put your washer with your nut, with your bolt, sorry. They already have yellow Loctite on there from BRP, so you don't have to add any. So I changed to my ratchet because the impact wasn't strong enough to uh, tighten this. So therefore, I'll just go and repeat the same thing on the other side. I'll use the impact to loosen them, take them off, and then just snug them up, and then I'll use my ratchet again. That's off. Reinstall your bracket flush to your tunnel. Make sure you have your two bolts and your nuts. Your nuts on top. All right, so I'll tighten them up. Then we're gonna have to put our Link Q brackets over top, right here, one there, and then our fuel caddy will be ready to install. If you want, you can add some Loctite back to these due to the usage of them. If they're new, you don't have to. Tighten it up. Make sure you tighten them both pretty equally. You don't want to break your bracket. So the reason why I had to install these shims is because the old tank is bowed in the middle. The new tank is made for the Gen 4 platform where the rad is flat. So I had to put these shims, that's the reason. But this new fuel caddy is very good due to the um, space savings that I can put my second baggage or luggage up top on it. And another bonus that is with this tank is that it goes from 11 liters to 15 liters. Next step, we'll install it and I'm going to add my Link Q attachments up top. So first thing is, you're going to want to grab your nuts and bolts again. Two on each side. There's already Loctite on these. All right. And the uh, Link Q brackets come with the new jerry can, or I can say fuel caddy. So it's the same process as this side. Just install on the left side now.
just enough. Snug them up. You don't want to strip the bolts either, right? All right, so now I'm going to put my 15, I think it's a 15 gallon luggage. There you go. So now my MXZX trail sled is now basically a renegade almost. So please like and subscribe and look at our other videos. Thanks guys.